Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will present you the factory pattern. So, the factory pattern, whenever we want to produce an object itself and uh, we need to call a static method or an object instance, it is a factory. Uh, there are many reasons why we don't use the create object statement to create an object. But uh, I will summarize all these things in uh, because we shift the responsibility from the client to a factory class or a or or an object, and uh, there are a few possible motivations to replace to replace direct object instantiation within with a factory. F creation of, of an object requires a lot of code, and we want to avoid duplicates. The client maybe needs an object without knowing the class. It it it's used it utilizes the polymorphism. The ab the object must implement an interface, or it must be an interface of an abstract class or a super class. I don't know. From example, the client needs an animal factory, <laughs> and factory might return a cat or a dog or other type. They both meet the client requirements because they are both animals, but it doesn't know in advance which one of them it will get. The decision is complex and not of concern to the composing object client. However, the factory class or object knows the algorithm and the client will get the proper object. And the object needs a special initialization with an information not known to the client. And then the factory will have this information and the client will get the proper initialized object. And uh, yeah, we can also take in consideration that every singleton is a also a factory. If it is not possible to create an object from outside of its class, then the only way to get access to the object is by calling the class static factory method. Also we can think an of another I example in above, uh, the new advanced list viewer with the object model CL, CL self table. We know that to create an, up an instance of this type, we need to call the factory method. This is also a standard SAP, good example of factory method. Also, let's see in the code to see an example. Okay, here we have a class, we have some methods, we all have also some attributes. And we can see that this get container is a static public method. And if we go inside, we see that here we create an object, and then we make a refresh of the total size because here it's about the docking. Let's see the example. It's about when you we click on these buttons and we have a container. And if we see the refresh total size, we loop over the objects that are in an attribute of this class and we make some modification accordingly to what we need. Then we add this object to the table and then we resize the container and then we just increment one to an attribute. And uh, this factory method it's used in our program from example it's used here in a constructor and we just pass this information and then we take we have the, the instance because if we go inside we see that this parameter it's used for creating the object on which side will be the container left right top or bottom and this is an example of factory method Yeah, in the end, I could say is that the factory pattern is a family of design patterns that is very popular and frequently used. And there could be many reasons why we don't create the object ourselves. But instead ask other objects to do it. Most commonly, the objects need to be initialized properly or need additional maintenance. And there is a f factory that knows how to do it, taking the responsibility from the client. I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can subscribe me on my email address. Have a nice day. Bye.